have an absolute boatload of fingerboard stuff and believe it or not, I got a good chunk of it from Goodwill. Places like Goodwill or other thrift stores don't really sell fingerboard stuff, but they sell a ton of stuff that can be used as fingerboard stuff. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys all my favorite things that I bought to repurpose for my fingerboards. Gonna start it out with something you guys have seen on my channel since the beginning. This is just a little box. I use this more than just about any other fingerboard obstacle I own. This thing only cost me $2 and I already feel like I've gotten a lifetime's worth of use out of it. Somebody on TikTok told me that the original use for this thing was a sushi plate, which sounds about right, but I honestly have no idea. I would love to find the original maker of this thing so I could tell them that I've gotten millions and millions of views on it for doing tech deck tricks. Up next, we got this little mani pad. This thing is nice and heavy and it only cost me $2. The original use for this thing is a picture frame. This little piece is magnetic and it just slides right on the top right here, but I would never use this thing for a picture. It's perfect for fingerboarding. I'm just not realizing how many of these things cost me only $2. Here is another $2 obstacle. This is just a little basket and it has a little piece of coping on the top. It's pretty hard to get this thing to actually skate. Here, check this out. It just falls right over. You have to tape it down and stuff, but once you do, it's really, really nice. I bought this birdhouse to use as a hubba and it ended up working so well. If you guys wanna see all this thrift store stuff put together into one giant skate park, I have made a video on that. You can click the link in the description below to check it out. This is one of my favorite obstacles that I found. You can set it up in so many different ways. For example, like this, it's a stair set. Like this, it's a ledge. And like this, it's a rail. This thing only cost me $3. It's like four obstacles in one. What you're supposed to use this thing for is organizing your spice rack, but who needs to do that? This next item I did not purchase at a thrift store, but I guarantee you, you can find one there. An old school DVD player. These things are some of the best boxes you can find, and I'm not even joking. You can tell just by looking at this one that I have got years and years of use out of it. I have done so many freaking grinds on this thing, it's insane. I'm also pretty sure that this is the first fingerboard obstacle that I ever used back in the day. In 2022, I think most people will tell you that these things are just pieces of junk, but to a fingerboarder, money well spent. Appreciate that. always wanted a fingerboard rail when I was a kid, but I never got one because Tech Deck had stopped making them years before I started fingerboarding and the ones I saw online were expensive and were gonna take forever to get to my house. So you can only imagine my excitement when I'm walking through the thrift store and I find some junk like this. I found a good amount of rails over the years, but I've only ever kept these three because they work the best. These two I'm pretty sure you're supposed to use when you're cooking and you don't wanna set a hot pan on your countertop or a table. Both of these cost me $4. Pretty good considering I've seen some fingerboard rails for like 55, 60 bucks online. This rail definitely works the best out of all the ones I have. I actually got this one at a flea market, not a thrift store, but you know, same difference. I truly have no idea what this thing is. I've had people on TikTok tell me you put it on the end of your bed to keep your mattress from sliding off. I've heard it's the handle to an antique camping grill. And I've also heard that it goes on a freaking lawnmower. To me, this is just a fingerboard rail that I only had to pay 50 freaking cents for. Seriously guys, this stuff is out there. <laughs> Got this big ledge I've used to just fill out some spots before. It's been very helpful. I'm pretty sure this is an armrest that goes on your couch. This is one of the more expensive pieces I have. <laughs> Only $6. This thing works great as a mani pad or you can stack it on top of other stuff to make an epic spot.
I've got one more thing to show you. This is definitely my most epic find ever, and it didn't actually come from a thrift store. It came from a garage sale. Fingerboard, roller coaster, pump track, insane thing. This is supposed to hang on your wall as an art piece, but I honestly think that this thing would be extremely ugly in whatever house you put it in, which is probably why somebody was just getting rid of it at a garage sale, but you know what they say, one man's trash is a fingerboarder's treasure. This literally looks like a table at the flea market when I put all this stuff together. Okay guys, seriously, you need to hit up your thrift stores, your garage sales, your flea markets, all of that stuff if you're into fingerboarding. I swear you will find some of the best things. If you are a fingerboarder on a budget or you just don't wanna spend a ton of money on expensive ramps, you need to buy stuff like this. Shopping for stuff like this can really get your imagination going. You're gonna feel really great about the stuff you bought afterwards. I promise you it's a way better experience than buying really expensive stuff online. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you you like it and subscribe to my channel. I upload a new fingerboarding video every single Wednesday. So thanks for watching and thanks for playing.